Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Doctors Who Read Stuff. My name is Chris and today I'm going to be talking about The Edict Epidemic by Jean Laura. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we're doing is we're talking about this entire book. So this is a Star Trek serial novel. Uh, it's actually the second book or the sequel to another book called The Vulcan Academy Murders. So this came out in 1998 and it is set on the planet planet of Nysus, which is a place where like scientists and free thinkers and learners can all come together from all different races. So you've got Klingons, you've got Andorians, you've got humans, you've got Tellarites, you've got... It's basically Nimbus 3 from Star Trek V, only different. Only not a crap hole. <laughs> and the whole premise of this book is that this plague breaks out on Nysus, and it's something that spreads quickly, is very fatal, and is so new that nobody knows anything about it. And I thought, because of our current situation with coronavirus, with COVID-19, that this would be a fun one to revisit. So... Um, Whenever you go back and you read these serial books, uh, especially after you've gone forward and you've read things like Tolkien or Robert Jordan or Brandon Sanderson or Frank Herbert or any of these prolific authors that create this vast secondary world, you're, you're bound to see a drop in quality. You know, like, let's be honest, Jean Laura is not J.R.R. Tolkien. And this is not a knock against her. This is just you know, the way it is. And I'm sure that Gene would agree with this. So you're not going to have the level of detail, uh, the character development, the world building, all of those things. That being said, this is a very entertaining book. It has a series of secondary characters that were first introduced in the Vulcan Academy murders. So you've got, you know, uh, Sorrel, a Vulcan doctor, his human counterpart, counterpart Daniel Corrigan, uh, Sorrel's daughter Tamir, who has recently wed uh, Dr. Corrigan. And these characters were introduced in the last book and their story kind of continues here. Now, I've seen other reviews of this book that say these secondary characters take up too much of the time that we're not focused on Kirk, on Spock, and McCoy. Well, he, that's correct, we're not. But here's the thing. I, I think if you read the Vulcan Academy murders first and then you go into this book, you will already have that familiarity and that appreciation for these characters. They're, not, they're good characters. They're well thought out. Um, so it's t to see where they go after that book is a lot of fun. Now, there is a lot of medical techno, technical jargon, as you would expect from Trek, especially 1988, right? And this is where it falls a little flat for me. There are paragraphs to pages of like descriptions of how this plague mutates and how it moves from species to species and person to person and what what is controlling the spread I don't know enough about medicine I'm not a medical doctor but I didn't follow these parts at all if we're perfectly honest uh, this was part of it where it's like okay I'm gonna just I'm not gonna go back and read this three times I'm gonna keep going in the hopes that they that they give it to me in layman's terms later and you know what, I did that, and it didn't really take away from my enjoyment. Uh, I, was, I was still able to follow the story, and I was still able to follow what was going on. Uh, the, there are a group of Vulcan dissidents that happen to be on the Enterprise when the Enterprise goes to Nysus III, who uh, are very much of the belief that 
you know, Vulcans are a watered down version of their past self and they want to return to their former glory and the pure blood is all of that. And this is called the Edic Epidemic because it seems to thrive, this plague thrives and spreads the most when it encounters people of mixed blood. So Spock, for example, right? Um, and I think it also draws other parallels, you know, that, that you've got these almost Puritan Vulcans who believe that the way things were were the best and that we, we shouldn't be associating with outworlders and things like that. And I think you can, you can also draw some parallels to things happening in the real world there as well. Uh, and I didn't even consider this going in, and honestly, I didn't even consider it until I started talking now. But, you know, with, with the not just Black Lives Matter, but trans lives, you know, everybody who is a minority who is repressed or oppressed or not given the same time of day because of that, you know, that's... That's a theme that is in this book from 1988. So, I don't know. Obviously, I don't need to tell you that the Enterprise saves the day. They thwart the virus. Everybody lives happily ever after. I mean, this is a, a serial novel that's really not canon that takes place during the five-year mission. So, obviously, they're not going to come in and they're gonna, not going to like kill off Spock. But it's still... It's still a good read. Do I recommend you read this? I think I just answered that question. I absolutely do. It's a lot of fun. If I were you, though, I would start with The Vulcan Academy Murders, again by Jean Laura. It's a lot of fun as well. Uh, I think the pacing is great. I think the characters are fun. You get to learn some new things and experience some new points of view. And if you go from that into this, I think you'll get a lot more enjoyment out of this book. Do you need to read the first one before you read this one? No. But I think that's where other reviewers have come in and said, well, it focuses too much on these secondary characters and not on the big three, the main three. But if you're already familiar with Sorrel and Corrigan and Tamir, then it doesn't feel like that. It, they feel familiar. They feel like part of the family. So yeah, this is, this is a good read. I'm glad I went back. I did I did it because of COVID-19, but for me to also be able to draw parallels to other things happening in the world today was just kind of an unexpected surprise. So uh, if you find this laying around somewhere in a used bookstore, I recommend you give it a look. If you see it on eBay, pick it up. I think it's going to be worth your time. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. And if you've read this and you have thoughts, please use the comment section below. And as we're going to be doing more of these, I'm not sure, maybe I'll go into uh, the Vulcan Academy murders next. But um, yeah, please subscribe, please like, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.